Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my magical kitchen. That's right, back again to make some tasty treats. Now, I know what you're thinking. Everything so far has pretty much gone wrong in this series and um, we're going back to basics. That's right, today I'm gonna be making chocolate frogs. I don't see how it can go wrong with melting chocolates, but let's go. Now, of course, there isn't too many things that we're going to need to make chocolate frogs, but one of the main things that we are going to need is chocolate frog molds. Now, I believe these came out of a subscription box, but I'm pretty sure that you could also buy them online somewhere. So we're gonna be attempting to make eight chocolate frogs. I probably should be going with one because we know how well these kitchens go. Uh, we got chocolate. This is my personal favorite. This is Cadbury Dairy Milk. If this ain't your favorite chocolate, you're doing chocolate wrong. <laughs> now I want to make my chocolate frog special. I don't just want to pour chocolate into molds. So I have got some bronze crunch, or as I like to call it, bronze crunch. Um, this I thought would make a really beautiful pattern on the back of the toad frog. Definitely a frog. If I sprinkle some in before the chocolate, so I'm really excited about these and Sounds nice. Um, and then also for an extra twist to my chocolate frogs, I have got some peanut butter. I'm not sure which one to use yet. That's why I've got two. Um, but yeah, so we've got peanut butter. And also I'm gonna stick a cheeky hazelnut in the middle so that it's got like a little nut, nutty surprise in the center. Um, that's all we need. So I guess we should get started. If this goes wrong, I'm quitting and I'm never doing a kitchen episode ever again. Okay, time to melt the chocolat. Now, when I looked at the recipe, that's right, there are recipes for chocolate frogs. It tells you how to do things step by step. We're ignoring that. I know, brave. But I thought I would ignore it because when I grew up, I got taught how to melt chocolate the correct way by my food technology teacher. And that was in a glass bowl over a pan of boiling water. So that's how I'm going to do it because I've done it before and I know that that works in theory. I'm gonna turn this on. Excuse my filthy hob. Now there is something important about this. If you get any water into this bowl, your chocolate's gonna kind of go weird. I have done that before. I learned the hard way. So we're not allowed any moisture into the chocolate bowl of dreams. I think that might be enough. Have I put too much in? Nah, we're gonna go with that, that's fine. I should probably start breaking up the chocolate actually. Get one step ahead in Cherry's Kitchen. Oh. Oh, I've not eaten anything today. Um, oh, I just wanna hum. <laughs> okay, so whilst that's doing something, I'm gonna start breaking this into the bowl, into little chunks. Chunky, chunky, chunky. That's me. <laughs> Ooh, sounds like knuckles cracking. I think I'm gonna do these full two bars of chocolate because anything left over, I will do something with it. Probably pour it into my mouth with a spoon. Ooh, we're already seeing some melting action. Check this out, it's already started. I'm a professional chocolate melter. <laughs> one for the bowl, one for me. One for the bowl. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, it's like chocolate porn. Ooh. That's just happiness in a bowl, to be honest. Oh yes. Oh, oh yeah. She's turning. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this is like, <laughs> don't turn the visuals off this video. <laughs> You're just gonna hear me go, oh yes, very nice. <laughs> oh dear, oh dearie dear. That is how you melt chocolate the right way, my friends. None of this microwave shenanigans. Ooh, maybe I should turn that down. Okay, I know, ooh, she's getting hot. Are we there? Ooh, I think we might be, almost. Now, I'm gonna take the water with me so it keeps the heat, so it doesn't like start. Oh God, this is a bad idea. I'm not strong. Ooh. We did it. Okay, I've got my little molds. I did Google 
to check if these needed any kind of release spray, but didn't really find a conclusion. So I'm gonna go with no. So yeah, hopefully we won't have too much trouble. Now, some of these, I did mention that I got some bronze crunch and I want to put some in the bottom. Not too many, but a few. So we're gonna put quickly put a few of these in. All this is gonna sound good. Oh yes, just a few. So they're gonna be kind of like a shiny spine to the chocolate frog, getting my creative juices flowing. Okay, do I want to do this in all of them? I'm gonna do them in six. And then I think the other two I'm gonna leave as just plain chocolate frogs. Okay, so we've got our crunch in and I guess I could start spooning. Now these aren't too deep, so I feel as I'm gonna have too much chocolate left over, but let's give it a whirl, shall we? Put a tiny dollop in there. Dollop in there. Oh god, this is the most satisfying thing I think I've ever done. Like genuinely. Don't want to put too much because I do want to try and put some filling in these. In fact, I think I might put the nuts in next and then put the peanut butter on top before we freeze it. Okay. No, I'll put the peanut butter after. I'm very technical. I'd like to change my mind whilst I'm <laughs> whilst I'm cooking in Cherry's kitchen. Cherry's magical kitchen. I genuinely think this one's gonna work. But I think I've said that for every Cherry's Magical Kitchen ever. <gasps> no, some of the crunch has gone inside. Oh, I've picked some of the crunch up. Mistakes have been made, but it's okay. We can still work with that. It's just a special frog now. It's fine. Now, I don't know who's gonna eat all these chocolate frogs because cameraman Chris doesn't eat sugar, but I might force him to try one. Just it. Oh, all the crunch might work, you know. Oh my God, I'm a genius. I'm an, okay. Cool. Right, we've got a base of our chocolate frogs. Now, before they go into the freezer, I'm gonna get my hazelnuts. I love hazelnuts with chocolate. It's the best combo. I'm gonna take a singular nut. I'm not very good at bags or jars. Why am I so weak? Okay, so I can't tear it. No, nope. I'm gonna have to get some scissors. Now I'm gonna poke one of these in the center of my chocolate frogs for a little nutty treat. Okay, we've got all our nuts. Now, whoops. I'm very concerned there's not enough space for peanut butter, but it's fine, we'll just put a little bit in. These, I'm afraid, I've got so much chocolate left. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. We'll think about that later. Um, I'm gonna take these to the freezer right now, but you can stay near because I don't want you to get cold and my freezer, it's in my garage. It's in my garage, it's a weird place for a freezer, but We have got my chilled chocolate frogs. Oh, cute. Okay, right. Now, peanut butter. I just want a little bit, so it's a little bit like a little surprise. Like, oh, where did that peanut come from? Just a little bit in the middle, really. Covering that nut, so you get that little peanut kick. I'm gonna try and smooth it down because we need to put chocolate over the top of this too. I know what you're thinking. Wow, Jerry, you've not messed this up. I'm thinking the exact same thing, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've been this happy in a magical kitchen before. It feels magical, it's going right, and I'm very excited to eat them. I think I've found my, uh, my calling in life. Gourmet chocolate frogs. <laughs> Coming soon to Cherry's merch store. I don't have a merch store. I would like one. But I'm probably never gonna put the chocolate frogs on it, I'm sorry. <sighs> now for the fun bit. Adding more chocolate. Let me just see if, no, they're way too tall. Mistakes have been made. You need to be flat. Oh. Oh. Damn it, peanut butter. Do I need to freeze the peanut butter? I'm gonna go with no. Right, is my chocolate still, ooh, she is. She's still melted and 
Fabulous. Okay, so going for a bigger spoon this time. I don't know if that's a good idea. Layer it on and hope for the best. Ooh. Okay, I think we've done one. Can we? Oh, hey, that worked. It got all the bumps out. Look, it's all smooth. That's pretty cool. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest and then we're gonna put them in the freezer. And then fingers crossed that they pop out and they're glorious and they're the best things ever. I've got skills, they're multiplying. And I'm losing control. I'm gonna get demonetized <laughs> if I keep singing. Um, okay, there we go. Cameraman Chris, are you impressed so far? I'll take those, yes. <laughs> Tell you what, studio tour if you're watching Warner Brothers. Um, if you want new chocolate treats for your gift shop, <laughs> you know where to come. <laughs> oh, I've just seen a little bubble. Don't want no bubbles. If you get any bubbles, not that I'm a professional with chocolate until today. Just give it a little pop, fill it in. Look at that. Skills I never knew I had. <laughs> ah. Get the little chocolate fi Ooh! Don't flop on me. Ow! <laughs> I just got spiked by all the cocktail sticks. Let's move the sharp objects out of the way, shall we? I actually think I did a good amount of chocolate, you know, because there's not too much left. I can easily spoon all that into my mouth afterwards. Right, I think these are ready to go in the freezer. So yeah, I'm gonna carefully not drop them. Oh. Right, little froggies, in your hop. <laughs> Lol. There's nowhere flat to put these in here. Right, falafel. You can sit on the falafel. Don't even like falafel. In they pop for 30 minutes. Pow. I don't want to waste it, it's just sitting in a bowl. But there's not much left. And my mouth stuck together. I don't think this much liquid chocolate is meant to go in your mouth at once. <laughs> just preparing for January. Gonna start exercising and stop eating bowls of liquid chocolate. <laughs> and that should be my Tinder pick. Just me amount of chocolate thing. Mm. Okay. My body's telling me to stop now. <laughs> Did a good job though. Oh, there they are. Are you hard? Wait, no. Oh, they are. Watch me just like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can pop these bad boys out of their molds. Right, so here we have them. <sighs> Let's get something to pop them on. Okay, we have the frogs. I've got something to shove them on. They're hard. Oh, I am nervous. Let's first look at the, the, the under, underbellies of them. So these are the ones that didn't have any crunchy bits in. There is a few little air bubbles, but I think it adds to the character, if you ask me. This one looks very good. Now we could get to, it could happen that when I pop these out, some of the crunchy bits fall out as well. But I think we'll have a few good chocolate frogs. I'm gonna start off with a non-crunchy one. How do, hang on, oh, hang on. It is coming. I think it's, oh, I can see it is working. It's gonna come out. Oh, <gasps> oh, he's beautiful. <gasps> he's perfect. Oh my God, something in Cherry's Magical Kitchen has actually worked. I don't want to touch him too much because fingerprints, but oh, yes, Mr. Froggy. Okay, let's pop one out that's got crunches. Okay. Oh my goodness, he does look magical. He's got like a little, yeah, they're great. That worked. Blimey, I've surprised myself. Miracles have happened today. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh, so there's our first four chocolate frogs. Well, there they are. These are my magical gourmet chocolate frogs. 
I can't believe they worked. <laughs> <laughs> they genuinely look so good. Um, wow, okay. So we did it. What do you guys think? Something that I would absolutely love to know from you guys. If you were to make your very own gourmet chocolate frogs, what flavors and what things would you put inside with them? I think another one that I would love to try in the future is to put some Bertie Bots for every flavor beans in the middle. I think that could be a little bit mean, but hey, it would be a surprise, especially if you got a vomit flavored one. But yes, these have turned out great. I'm, I'm genuinely thrilled with them. There we have it, our very own little chocolate frog and chocolate frog box. Oh, it's perfect. In fact, I could probably fit a few of them in there. I'll put one crunchy and one standard. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. I can't believe it's gone well. This has been a very positive magical kitchen, I must say. Now, something that I do want to do, I want to cut one in half and see what it looks like. Let's do it. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> it looks professional. Oh, wow. I'm so happy, genuinely. Give this video a massive thumbs up for probably our first very successful magical kitchen, gourmet chocolate frogs. Should I try one? I'm going to, I'm gonna try this one, okay. I've got a bit of nut, a bit of peanut. Wow. It tastes like Snickers. See, I do have skills deep down and it took for it to be the Christmas season for me to show the skills to you. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that is the end of the gourmet chocolate frog magical kitchen episode and I couldn't be happier with it. So let me know your thoughts down below. And if you have any things that you would like me to cook or bake in my magical kitchen, then do leave a comment down below because I want to do a lot more of these in the upcoming year, right? I got a lot of chocolate frogs. I might actually give these to people for Christmas. What a cool gift, it's gonna be so good. <gasps> okay, bye guys. <laughs> oh my God, they're so cute. Look at the little frogs. I'm a chocolate frog queen.